I would like to present the finance department budget for fiscal year 2017. So first off, let me start with showing there are nine divisions in the accounting department, and I'll talk in more detail about what they do on a future slide. So then our staffing levels, um, this year they increased from 59 to 60. However, this wasn't an increase to the city overall. It was basically a reorganization. So let me kind of explain what took place. In municipal court, we gained efficiencies through the implementation of the new soft software system about three years ago. With those efficiencies, we had a court clerk position that became vacant and we found that we didn't need to fill it. So we moved that position over to finance administration and developed an administrative aid position we hadn't had an aid position, an administrative level position in finance for several years, so that brought much needed support there in the finance area. The budget analyst position moved over to the finance department. This was a reorganization to make better use of that position's time overall throughout the whole year. So that's where we increased from 59 to 60. With that reorganization, we promoted Myra Rogers to manager of budget and financial analysis, which gave us a better structure in finance overall, made us more efficient overall in the finance department. So a finance, our finance year in review, we've had a very busy year, a very successful year, a very productive year. Um, let me just kind of go through these. We had a clean audit for fiscal year 2015, and with that we had no findings in the single audit area, which is the grant area. Our uh, comprehensive annual financial report, we received the award from the Government Finance Officers Association for excellence in financial reporting for the 36th year in a row. We had a successful street bond election. We hadn't had a street bond election since 1984. We sustained our double A bond ratings. Um, our investment policy was certified by the Government Treasurer's Organization of Texas. Our purchasing department received the Achievement in Excellence and Procurement Award for the 13th consecutive year. Our Marshall program completed one full year, bringing increased security to our municipal court operations, along with freeing up valuable officer, police officer time to be out on the street patrolling the city. We participated for the first time in the Texas Municipal Court Week with a traffic safety initiative, and this had great success in our five public high schools. Uh, we, all, we actually received an award from the Texas Municipal Courts Education Center for the initiative and our own Julie Whitworth internally, she developed an article that was published in the Texas Municipal League's Texas Town and City Magazine about the initiative. We developed an open warrant docket and a jail release docket to gain efficiencies, give defendants more options, and to get our warrants paid on a more timely basis. We're in the process of implementing the GovPayNet system that you approved not too long ago. This allows automated payments in the jail and will improve the payment process between other jurisdictions. We implemented the Scofflaw program for the red light cameras. Um, this you approved also in the fall. We actually um, started doing the holds in February. So we've collected fines as old as 2008 and since February, which is about three and a half months, We've collected $170,000 in past due fines, which is about 8% of the total that was outstanding at the time that we talked to you about this program. We installed a new phone monitoring system in the utility billing office to monitor calls on hold, which you all have gotten calls about that in the past. And I'm pleased to say that we, we, we reduced our average hold time to less than two minutes. We passed on credit card fees to customers. We now offer e-check payments online. We are now able to accept donations online with the option to donate through the water bill for all the programs like Animal Shelter, Freedom Park, Historic Mesquite, Keep Mesquite Beautiful, Mesquite Art Center, and the New Home Program. And then we completed several internal reviews throughout the year, including cash on hand, petty cash, credit card transactions, travel and training expenditures, equipment services work order system, and we're in the process of completing an audit of our commercial account dud fees, drainage utility district fees on commercial accounts. So next, as Ted just discussed, the city is moving to performance-based budgeting or budgeting for outcomes. In order to practice performance-based budgeting or budgeting for outcomes, officials and management staff, they must have accurate, timely, and relevant information for decision making. The finance department is key to providing this information. Finance is a service department for, for internal operations and external customers. I like to say that finance is the backbone of the city, providing much needed support. So let me describe what I mean with the following illustration. First off, um, finance is key to bringing in the money to fund all city operations and any one of the council policies and strategic goals. 
This happens through the tax office, the utility billing office, and municipal court. We bill, collect, and deposit and track all monies that come into the city. Next, once the money is deposited, finance administration and budget and financial analysis analyze, invest, and monitor the deposits. We analyze what other financial resources are needed through bond sales and other financing options to fund major capital projects. Then we take the city and city council through the budget process to, to determine how the money will be spent. Then purchasing goes into action. They're, they work with the departments on how to spend their budgeted dollars in the most effective and cost-saving ways. The purchasing policies, procedures, and guidelines set by the city ensure that we are following established laws by the state of Texas and federally guided grant programs. Our warehouse, our warehouse and print shop mailroom, um, they provide additional support. Warehouse keeps track of all regular supplies and materials that are critical to city operations, like equipment service repair parts, uh, street and sanitation supplies, water and wastewater repair supplies, and other city department's operational supplies. The mail room facilitates, of course, all mail coming in and going out through all the city departments. You might say it's kind of like a mini internal post office or a FedEx operation. The print shop supports all departments for necessary forms, promotional materials, and many types of reports. And then accounting must account accurately record and account for all of these transactions and make sure that we comply with all financial reporting requirements. Accounting processes all payrolls so that city employees get paid and the city must have paid employees to carry out any one of the city council policy issues and strategic goals. So finance is definitely the backbone of city operations. Let me now show you how finance ties into the current city council strategic goals. Keep in mind the backbone of financial resources information reporting through all the areas, but more specifically in the area of public safety and neighborhood appearance and condition. Um, municipal court is a big part in this process um, on the enforcement side. When violations occur, of course, citations are issued um, to charge a fine for breaking the law or the rules. So that's for both traffic and code enforcement type violations. The idea behind fines is to require the person to pay and bring about a change in behavior. So the court operation is very instrumental in that whole process. And then more specifically to these two goals, the red light camera program went into place in 2007. And it has been a great way to use technology to enforce safer intersections without having to have a police officer stationed at every intersection throughout the city. And then the upcoming MISD photo enforcement program for their buses is another use of technology to bring improved safety for children loading and unloading their school bus. Both of these programs, the red light camera and the MISD photo enforcement, are programs funded through the violation revenues and do not cost the city extra money. In the council goals for job creation, downtown redevelopment, shopping center revitalization, and the I-20 corridor development, finance will be more of a support role. Um, we will provide very important information when developing, calculating, and paying any potential incentive agreements with businesses and organizations that want to invest in the ski. For the city council goals regarding small business retention and minority city involvement, our purchasing division is working on two ideas that can help these, toward these goals with no additional cost to the city. First of all, they're working on a list of small businesses in Mesquite that will be posted on the city's intranet that will become available to the departments to use as a resource when getting ready to purchase supplies and services. The city is also a part of the NCTRCA. This is the North Central Texas Regional Certification Agency. The NCTRCA certifies disadvantaged minority and women-owned business entities in order for them to be available to do business with local governments in the North Central Texas region. They um, have worked with minority-owned and women-owned businesses in the past, and they are now working on a program for small businesses as well. So purchasing will work with Kim Buttram, um, in economic development to promote the new program when this program is available for, for small businesses in Mesquite. And then also in all of the finance divisions that support the public, we have bilingual staff available to assist Spanish-speaking customers as needed. Finance is definitely a key part of sharing our story. The comprehensive annual financial report and the budget book are great resources for what has happened in the most recent fiscal year and what is, what is planned for the future. Our quarterly financial reports and quarterly re investment reports are good sources of how we're doing throughout the current year. 
and all of the printed marketing materials produced by the print shop tell our story as well. But we have a new initiative in this area for expanding our financial transparency. Our goal is to achieve all, achieve all five stars in the State Comptroller's Transparency Stars Program. These five areas include publishing information regarding traditional finance information, contracts and procurement, economic development, public pensions, and our debt obligations. Um, the Munis software system that we purchased three years ago and the new transparency tool from Socrata, which Ted alluded to, will assist with making the information available on the city's website. The first push will be to make our check register public and our budget versus actual financials um, also out there, and they'll be updated on a regular basis. They'll be updated weekly. Then we'll work through the other areas of the transparency program to then achieve all five transparency stars. So this initiative will allow us to share our, to, to do more about sharing our story in our financial area. Finance is also key, is a key part of infrastructure maintenance. We coordinate the annual capital planning process with departments to assess the financial needs for updating, replacing, and repairing the city's infrastructure. We determine the ongoing debt capacity of the city in order to um, schedule bond sales for financing the infrastructure and capital project needs. We coordinate the annual bond sale process, which includes any bond rating meetings with the rating agencies. And then accounting also tracks all fixed assets and coordinates regular fixed asset inventories to ensure accuracy. So along with the capital work, a major goal for finance is to maintain our AA bond rating with the bond rating agencies. So finance has an excellent, hardworking, committed employees. Most of our team is pictured here, and I'm, I'm thankful that my four division managers are here tonight kind of as support. But we do have two major challenges in finance. One is staffing levels. As you know, we are very lean staffed in, in, throughout most of the city departments. Several areas in finance actually found relief from the implementation of the new software system because we gained efficiencies, especially in utility billing, court, and tax. Our biggest staffing level challenge is between accounting, budget, and financial analysis, and finance administration. In these three areas, we have many projects and internal reviews that we would like to do, um, and we do them, we're, we're limited in how quickly we can get to them. So we do them as we have time and try to get them completed. We do the best we can with the staffing levels in place, uh, making sure all critical items and required reporting items are completed on time. The second challenge we have, of course, is rising cost. We understand the effect of rising cost on our customers and citizens, um, like the water and wastewater rates from North Texas Municipal Water District, and really the overall cost increases for, increases for supplies and service. So, we continually look for ways to reduce cost, improve efficiencies, and improve processes to help minimize the effect of those cost increases on our citizens and our customers. So finance, our proposed budget for next year really is basically no increase. Uh, finance is budgeted both in the general fund and the water sewer fund. We have divisions in both funds. Um, you'll see a slight increase in the water sewer fund. Um, and that is related to IT software maintenance costs that Zach will talk about in his presentation. But basically, we have a slight decrease, actually, in the general fund for finance operations. We do bring to the table three budget offers for next year. Um, our first priority would be a general accountant position. This would be added to the accounting department staff. This would allow some reorganization between accounting, budgeting, and financial analysis and finance admin that would bring about the additional support needed to accomplish more in the area of internal reviews, financial analysis project, projects, and the new financial transparency initiative. The second priority is a report writing tool. This would improve the efficiency in preparing all of the reports that were required to take care of the comprehensive annual financial report, the budget document, and things like that. And the third priority is called a Munis PACE program. This goes along with our new software. It's a, it's a that the vendor now offers this program to review the software, the different modules in various areas throughout a year, train in those areas, and make sure that we're using the system most effectively. Uh, that would help us to ensure that we maximize the investment we made on the software three years ago. So to recap, um, finance is a service department to the city and citizens providing critical support fin for financial resources and financial reporting. We've had a great year and we want to accomplish more. We want to help council with um, um, supporting your council goals and st strategic goals and policies. 
uh, that we can help specifically with the MISD photo enforcement program, the list of small business owners and the NCTRCA program. The financial transparency initiative is a big one, um, so we're really excited about that. And our goal is to sustain our AA bond rating or improve it. Our baseline budget is basically no increase, and we have the three budget offers on the table. And with that, I would answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much. Anybody have questions? <coughs> I just appreciated you sharing about the job team looking for creative ways to to keep costs down and have some assistance or older residents on fixed income and so just more working class families that have struggles. So I appreciate y'all taking the time to look for those things. You can make a difference a little bit. Thank you very much.